Got a Chevy Malibu. This is going to be for 2008 to 2012. It's got an airbag code. The code is B001B. Passenger seat belt, anchor, pretensioner, deployment loop, resistance above threshold. What that means is you've got an issue with the pretensioner, which is. This is the pretensioner right here where it anchors down. And they might not have sold the whole seatbelt here because it's missing a piece. So that's going to be a problem. But I'm going to show you how to fix the pretensioner. But I don't believe they gave him the right part because that's not the anchor. The anchor is what anchors the seatbelt. And this is just the pretensioner itself. So. We're gonna find out and see what's going on with this vehicle and how I can help you fix your vehicle later on. Okay, so the first step is to disconnect the battery because we're gonna be working with the airbag system. So you're gonna push this tab and remove the battery tray. There's another tab back here. And I said tray, but this is just the battery cover and we'll disconnect the negative terminal with a 10 millimeter. And once you loosen this nut, you can just go ahead and bend that out of the way, and now there's no power to the vehicle, and you're totally safe to work on the airbag system. I usually like to give it at least a minute or two, just so any voltage that might still be in the system can dissipate. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to remove the seat so go ahead and slide it all the way forward towards the dash coming back to the back seat i believe these are t50s or t45 and you're just going to remove these screws now with the two bolts removed you're going to tilt the seat up there are some teeth that stick into these grooves, so you need to tilt it up and then pull it back towards the back seat, and that will free these teeth. And now the teeth are free, so you can see kind of what it looks like. They hook into these grooves here, and we have to go ahead. We probably don't have to completely remove the seat. You just need access to this area down here. The <clears throat> part that we're actually trying to get access to, this is the anchor pretensioner here. And I mean, it's not part of the of the buckle itself, so I'm not sure exactly where the problem was of why they couldn't give my customer this part of it, but they actually disconnected it right here, which I don't think is correct unless they're considering that this is part of the seat but anyways i just wanted to check this wiring here so this is where it plugs in and usually if it's deployed let's see if i can get you guys in there you'll see there's like a little rod inside here and that's how you know it's deployed but it's not so here's the wiring right here, plugged into here. Everything looks plugged in. Don't see any wiring issues. But in order to gain access to this, you have this plastic cover. Now, it sits like kind of like Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Hang on a sec. Let me fish this belt back through it. Okay. There we go. So it sits like that. And you've got this handle that goes onto here. So what I did is I took my pry bar, just put it under here, and pry it off because these, this clip will retain it onto right here, onto these grooves. And once you pop that off, you've got a few clips here. So one right there, 
and one right there and I would put my pry bar right here as close to this clip because if you start pulling from the edge these will break and then you will either have to replace this piece completely or just have a broken piece in your car so that's pretty much how you would remove this to gain access right here now if you did want to replace this part right here which I believe is a 19 millimeter you take this off and you can remove it and that's it so I guess what I could do is I could test it to see if this is the problem by removing this and making it an open loop or a closed loop I should say in order to see if the problem is somewhere in here or if it's actually down here the next step is you're gonna have a kick panel right here go ahead and remove that and you're gonna also remove this plastic piece it just has a bunch of clips and remove the kick panel right here so that you can free up that other plastic piece and then take a pick or some type of flathead where it says airbag go ahead and pry that out and you're gonna have a Phillips head screw remove that and this whole plastic should come off here is your pretensioner so we're gonna remove that with the same Torx bolt T45 and then looks like there's two 10 millimeters here as well this is the cover for the adjustment so you can actually bend that to the side put a wrench right there with your T45 and loosen up this bolt and that will free the free the seat belt and then loosen up this bolt down here as well so now that the seat belt has been removed from there and from there this is what you're left with which is actually the pretensioner and the way these plugs work is you have to pry this little orange tab up for it to release so what you're going to want to do is get a pick and just get it underneath that i put it in put my pick in front and i popped it up you can do it with a small flathead as well and once that orange tab is pried up you can release it all the way and then just you know give it a good wiggle and it should come free and you want to be very gentle because you don't want to damage any of this stuff that would defeat the whole purpose of this job so I actually grabbed this and pulled the orange part it popped loose that's what it would look like and with these there's only one way it can go because it has this center thing so you can't put it in upside down or backwards so that this is all set up we need to move over to this aspect of the repair and the first thing we're going to do is to use our pick and to pop this cover right here off then you're going to take a 10 millimeter go ahead and remove that screw And this also you're gonna have to separate and then basically that is how it disconnects we're gonna bring this in we're going to slide it in and then pull it up like that and then we're going to reattach this And then we're going to reinstall the screw. Okay. 
Let me get it started by hand first. pretty much it guys now we just put the plastic back on and that should do it